Hi everyone, Ms. Tui here. Have you ever flipped a coin to make a choice? Has your teacher ever told you exactly what to do? Have you ever noticed that an object looks different if you look at it from a different side? Do you ever start walking in one direction, but then change your mind and go the other way? These ideas are what you'll be learning about with your Ozobot in today's lesson. Let's get started. For today's lesson, you'll need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, a pencil, color code markers, and both pages of your Introduction to Color Codes direction activity sheet. After today's lesson, you will be able to program Ozobot to turn right, left, or go straight at an intersection. Program Ozobot to do a U-turn in the middle of a line or at the end of the line, and recognize the direction that Ozobot is traveling so that you can draw a direction color code. Ozobot is pretty smart. It can make decisions on its own. When it comes to an intersection and hasn't been given any instructions about which way to go, it will randomly choose to go left, right, or straight. Kind of like flipping a coin to decide which way to go. Find start one on your activity sheets. Follow the line to the bottom of the page. There are three rectangular blocks, each one at a line end. I'll fill in the first one red because it has an R next to it. The middle line has a G, so I'll fill that in green. And the line on the right has a B, so I'll fill that in blue. Then I'll connect the start circle with each line by filling in the guidelines with black marker. I will place my bot on start and notice which way it chooses to go, keeping track of how many times Ozobot chooses each direction by putting a tally mark on the lines next to each line end. Can you fill in the colors on each line end? Then connect start one with each line end by filling in the guidelines with black marker. Place your Ozobot on start one and put a tally mark on the blank next to the colored line end that your bot chooses. Place your bot back on start one and let it choose a direction five more times. Keep track with tally marks how many times Ozobot chooses each direction. Which direction did your Ozobot choose the most? Which did it choose the least? You've seen how your Ozbot randomly chooses a direction at an intersection, but what if you want it to go a certain direction? There are color codes that program your bot to turn left, turn right, or go straight at intersections. These codes are called direction codes. You can choose left at intersection, right at intersection, or straight at intersection. The secret to these codes is choosing the direction to turn based on the direction Ozobot is traveling as it approaches the intersection. You'll program your bot to travel from start to to the birdhouse at one of the line ends. I'll find start to at the bottom of page one of the activity sheets. I'll follow the line to the top of the page and see two rectangles labeled R, which I'll fill in red. On the third line, there is a color code. I'll fill in the blocks green and blue as they are labeled. Notice near start two, there are three blocks designated for a color code. I'll follow the line from start two to the birdhouse and decide if I need to go right, left, or straight to get to the birdhouse. Which way does my Ozobot need to turn? If you said right, you were correct. I'll find the right at intersection code in the color codes key and beginning closest to the start circle, fill in the colors blue, red, green. Then I'll complete the lines with black marker and run my bot from start to.
Can you fill in the red rectangular blocks and the color code at the line ends? Can you fill in the right at intersection code and complete the black lines? Then run your bot from start to. Did your bot turn right at the intersection? The next two color codes you'll learn about are both U-turn codes. One code is used at the end of a line and the other is used in the middle of a line. Look at page two of your activity sheets and find start three and start four. The U-turn code you will use in the middle of lines has three colors, blue, red, blue. The U-turn code used at the end of a line has two color blocks, blue, red. First, I'll fill in the U-turn code starting with the top line. The code space is in the middle of a line, so I'll use the three block code, blue, red, blue. The U-turn code in the next line down is also in the middle of a line, so I'll use blue, red, blue again. Then the last code on the bottom is at the end of a line, so I'll use blue, red. Notice I placed the blue block on the right of the red block because my Ozobot will come to the blue block first. Once the color codes are filled in, I'll complete the shape with my black marker. Now I'll find start three and place my bot on the line. Watch the action of my bot as it is programmed to perform a U-turn. What did you notice about the path my bot traveled? Next, I'll find start four and place my bot on the line. The bot travels a very different pathway from start four. Can you fill in all three U-turn codes? Then complete the line with black marker. Place your Ozobot on start three and observe the pathway of your bot. Finally, place your bot on start four and observe the pathway of your bot. Next, you'll learn more about directionality. When you read English, you start on the left and follow words toward the right. The direction you read in is important. It is the same with Ozobot's reading color codes. The action of the bot depends on the direction the code is read. You'll apply this idea to direction codes. In order for your bot to turn the direction you want it to go, it is important that you notice the direction the bot will be traveling when it comes to an intersection. Find start five on page two of your activity sheets. Your Ozobot needs to go to the dog, not the snake. I'll fill in the win exit play again code, green, blue, next to the dog. Then I'll go back to start five and follow the line to be clear about the direction my bot will be traveling. My bot will need to turn right to get to the dog, so I'll fill in the right at intersection code, which is blue, red, green. Remember to put the colors in the blocks as your bot would read them while traveling over the code. Next, I'll fill in the dotted lines with black marker. Once my codes are filled in and my lines are finished, I'll place my bot on start five and see if it gets to the dog. Excellent. Now it's your turn. Can you go to start five, fill in the win exit play again code next to the dog and the right at intersection code so your bot will turn right? Then fill in the lines with black marker. Run your bot and watch it celebrate when it gets to the dog. 
Go to start six. Fill in the win exit play again code next to the trees. Follow the line in the direction your bot will be traveling. You may need to turn your page around so you can follow the line as if you were the bot moving forward. What direction will the bot need to go to get to the trees? Fill in the direction code, then fill in the dotted lines with black marker. Once your codes are filled in and the lines are finished, place your bot on start six and watch it in action. Did your bot get to the trees and celebrate? Well done. You've learned a lot about programming your Ozobot in this lesson. Let's check to make sure you've completed everything. Have you tallied the number of times your bot turned randomly from start one? Did your bot arrive at the birdhouse from start two? Did you notice the U-turn loops of your bot when it started from starts three and four? Did you use the direction codes to have your bot arrive at the dog and the trees? If you're looking for more to do, you can create your own Ozobot track using the codes that you've learned so far. Come back again soon for our next lesson.